Fitbit's latest and greatest technology in the fitness world. It offers some outstanding features, including a stunning display, solid battery life, and comprehensive fitness tracking for around $175, and has quickly been gaining a name for itself as one of the best fitness trackers on the market. But how does it stack up against the competition? It requires you to download the Fitbit app, create or sign into your account, follow the prompts, enter a four-digit code for Bluetooth pairing. It supports Google Fast Pair for Android users, and you can also enable or disable smartphone notifications. You can navigate the interface by swiping right or left for notifications, EDA scans, and more. Up to access the Today tracking apps, fitness metrics, and battery readings, and down for Fitbit Play, or you can double tap to return to the clock face. And it's housed in a sleek aluminum casing with stainless steel side panels for added durability. It's slightly wider than its predecessor, but it's also slimmer, which makes it more comfortable for daily usage or while sleeping. It comes with the two silicone bands depending on your wrist size and has additional bands available for purchase, such as a perforated strap for exercising. I also like that the straps and tracker are water resistant up to 164 feet, so it's suitable for swimming. I think the one point 0.04 inch AMO LED screen is an excellent feature for a sub $200 fitness tracker. It delivers a stunning full color image and impressive brightness to remain visible. Although this feature drains the battery faster, you can specify time restrictions to conserve power. It also has a solid selection of watch faces to choose from, which is just fun. Unfortunately, it lacks offline Spotify support and music playback control capabilities like many similarly priced competitors. Fitbit Versa 2 can control your playback and comes with a 2.5 gigabytes of storage, but the battery is much worse and it doesn't track as many health metrics. It can deliver up to a week per charge depending on your usage habits, which is impressive because of the bright and full color display, fitness tracking, and compact frame. Although intensive features like GPS tracking rapidly decreases the battery, it can still last around five hours with continuous tracking or two days with always on display. But you get Fitbit Pay so you can have contactless mobile payments. You can also read notifications, open them on your phone, dismiss alerts, and accept or decline phone calls from the tracker, which is an EDA readings to track how your body responds to stress, which are typically found on advanced offerings, 24 seven heart rate tracking, and a built-in GPS to track outdoor exercise. I like that it offers 20 different exercise modes and a customizable shortcut menu via the app, but can only display five modes at a time. The Smart Track feature is another nice addition, and it automatically records certain workouts, such as walking, running, cycling, and swimming with minimal mistakes. You can also track the duration and quality of your sleep, your sleep stages, breathing rate, heart rate variability, blood oxygen saturation, and provide you with stress management and sleep score when you wake up. All things considered, the Fitbit Charge 5 is a sleek and modern fitness tracker with many useful features. With its gorgeous AMO LED screen, solid battery life, comprehensive tracking, and accurate readings, I can see why it's such a popular fitness tracker for under $200. Is the Fitbit Versa 2 has built-in music playback controls at a similar price. However, the Fitbit Charge 5 is designed to track your health accurately, and it delivers impressive overall performance with most fitness metrics, and more advanced features than many other competitors. I would recommend the Charge 5 if you're looking for one of the best overall fitness